Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Debbie Baker VJ2NG. Thanks for the suggestion, Debbie Baker. You asked, how is freeze-dried coffee different from instant coffee? On the surface, they look almost the same. Tiny brown bits you stir into hot water when you're too tired to even spell espresso. But behind those little granules lies a surprisingly dramatic story of science, flavor, and coffee nerd wizardry. So grab your mug, maybe your third one today, and stay tuned as we uncover the difference between freeze-dried coffee and instant coffee, right here on Explaining Everything. Instant coffee is basically coffee's lazy twin. It was invented for people who want the taste of coffee without the time, patience, or functioning motor skills needed for a French press at 7 a.m. Here's the deal. To make instant coffee, real coffee is brewed in giant industrial tanks. Imagine the world's biggest coffee pot, but without a hipster barista in sight. Once brewed, the liquid coffee is turned into a concentrated syrup. From there, factories remove all the water, leaving behind just dry coffee solids that dissolve back into your cup later. The most common way to do this is spray drying. Picture a giant industrial hairdryer blasting hot air at liquid coffee, turning it into tiny powdery particles in seconds. It's fast, cheap, and effective, but it also means some of the delicate aromas and flavors get roasted out of existence. The result? A fine powder or tiny granules that dissolve quickly in water, giving you a decent cup of coffee in about 10 seconds flat. It's the no-frills version, like coffee that shows up to work in sweatpants. Gets the job done, but it's not trying to impress anybody. Now, freeze-dried coffee is instant coffee's cooler, more sophisticated cousin. If spray-dried coffee is like blast it with a hairdryer, freeze-dried coffee is more like carefully preserve this delicate treasure with science worthy of NASA. Here's how it works. First, coffee is brewed just like before. But instead of blasting it with hot air, the liquid coffee is frozen solid at extremely low temperatures. Think coffee popsicle, but less fun to eat. Once frozen, the coffee goes into a vacuum chamber where the ice is removed by sublimation. Sublimation is that magical process where a solid skips the whole liquid stage and goes straight to gas. So the frozen water molecules turn into vapor and vanish, leaving behind coffee crystals. Those crystals keep way more of the coffee's natural flavors and aromas intact. The end product looks like little brown nuggets or shards, kind of like coffee gravel. Drop them in hot water and they spring back to life like a caffeinated resurrection. The big difference here is flavor preservation. Freeze drying protects those subtle, complex notes, nutty, fruity, chocolatey, that get lost when spray drying nukes them with heat. So while both are instant, freeze-dried coffee usually tastes closer to freshly brewed coffee. It's the difference between listening to your favorite band on cheap phone speakers versus good headphones. Same song, wildly different experience. So, how does this actually play out in your mug? Imagine two friends handing you coffee blindfolded. One is holding spray-dried instant. The other is holding freeze-dried. The spray-dried instant tends to taste flat, bitter, and a little one-dimensional. Not awful, but it's missing the sparkle. It's like someone described coffee 
to a computer, and the computer tried its best. Freeze-dried coffee, on the other hand, has more depth. You'll pick up stronger aromas, smoother texture, and flavors that don't just punch you in the tongue and leave. It actually lingers in a pleasant way, closer to what you'd expect if you brewed a fresh pot. That's why freeze-dried coffee often costs more. You're paying for the fancy science and the extra effort to keep those flavors alive. It's basically the bougie version of instant coffee, the one that insists on oat milk and corrects your pronunciation of macchiato. So why does the difference matter? Well, it comes down to priorities. If you're broke, late for work, or camping in the middle of nowhere, spray-dried instant coffee is your reliable sidekick. It's fast, cheap, and requires nothing more than hot water and a will to live. But if you care about taste, or if you just want your 30-second coffee to feel more like a treat, freeze-dried is the upgrade. It's closer to the cafe experience without needing fancy equipment or barista skills. Also, freeze-dried coffee is better at long-term storage. Since the flavor is locked in during the freezing process, it holds up longer without tasting like it's been hiding in your grandma's pantry since 1997. At the end of the day, both freeze-dried coffee and regular instant coffee serve the same purpose, getting caffeine into your bloodstream before you accidentally email your boss, I love you, instead of, I'll update the spreadsheet. So next time you're staring at the instant coffee aisle, you'll know. One option is the budget-friendly crash course in caffeine, and the other is the gourmet upgrade that lets you pretend you're drinking cafe-quality coffee in your pajamas. Either way, your morning will start with caffeine. And honestly, that's what matters most. If you enjoyed this dive into the world of instant versus freeze-dried, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.